Hey, 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 it's me, RJ Lonto, 89. And I would like to welcome you both to another Tips and Tricks. Man, I feel so under repair right now. Other than the fact that right now, the Minecraft skin is not working. See that? So my default skin apparently needs it down. Oh well, I didn't want to make a video without it, but. I guess today we're gonna be Steve, plain old boring Steve. So, let's take our loot out. Let's see here, we have some redstone, and we have some diamonds. Yes, we should do a quick tip. So here's a good quick tip. If you find any diamonds, a good possible tool to quickly make is to make a diamond pick. This will give you two diamond picks, or you can make a diamond sword and a diamond shovel. I don't know why you would do that, but that gives you a good idea what you can do with limited amounts of diamonds. But we'll use a diamond. I always do that, diamonds, to make more powerful tools, or I always make my more powerful armor later. Excuse me. So, there's a couple of quick tips I can show you. Now, I want to do a. Sp now, I know that the maps are going to update, so I'm not going to do that quite yet. But however, I can show you what I am doing to prepare for it. For paper, you will need a sugar cane. You can find some sugar cane and you can plant it just like this. I can show you a quick tip on how to do it. So, I'll just take it off the top. You can use any tool perfectly. Just you can use sugar cane for itself. Plant that back. Just plant it around. I believe you can place it on sand near the water instead of grass since I believe that might make it grow faster. I believe. Um, here we have little Mr. Sheep right here. Yes, yes, you are the cutie. Yes. Sorry, I can't resist sometimes. The cuteness factor has gone up. Yeah. So, you can take the leftovers if you want. You can make it sugary, you can make it papery. So yeah, that's what I'm basically you know, preparing. Because I know the map system is going to change. Now personally, I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of the new map system. Since I did test it out in a pre-release that they had sent out. It's not as big as an area, and yes... I kind of missed the whole exploration factor, but I can understand what they were doing with it, was making more detailed, but it's a little not as, I don't feel it's as useful as it was, but that's just my personal opinions. I'm sure I will learn to get used to it, just like everyone else. Now, we're going to make some obsidian since I would like to get to the nether to grab some Bluestone. Because I like to do that as a thing for the Halloween week that we're going to have. As you can see, we have lava. Surface lava. If you have any near you, here's a very good use you can do with it. Since I don't want to, while I'm working around it, I don't want to accidentally drop into it while I'm mining our way, since you can tell. There's a hole around it, and there's some of it above it, so, just in case, just pour it right above it. You can make some obsidian. Wow, you can use it all. Now I'm going to find an edge. Now you can use your diamond here, it will be much faster, but I'm going to save that for our obsidian. Now, to be honest... A city and takes a while to mind up, so you can just don't want to do this. This is going to take it forever. 
But with this, this is going to take it much more. You have to be careful where you're standing. Because you might have lava down there. See? If not, then you're lucky. Now you're down here, you want to be careful because if there is lava that happens to be the next thing. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Ah! Water! That saved me this time. See what I mean? You can use a bucket of water to save you. That was close. So you can do the diamond. Wrong pickaxe. Diamond. It takes forever. So I'm just going to show you this quickly. Let's grab a few. So I'm going to do it more off screen so that we can move much faster. I just want to show that real quickly. We're going to quickly revisit our animal farm. So we're over here. As you can tell, I have breeded a few chickens. Now, when you breed them, you want to breed... I like to breed at least up to four pairs at a time. And then you can do that other... The new, then do those th other three pairs. And build a lot of animals and then... When I kill them off, or at least keep four pairs alive so I can keep on breeding them. Hello, Mr. Sheep! Sorry, I'm trying to get us entertaining. <sighs> I love the Minecraft music, don't you? I like it. So... So peaceful, as I said it before. I love the music in here. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It's calming, it's peaceful. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to show you guys, huh? So yeah, that's basically what I have to show you so far. There's a lot of other things I can show you, like... What we can do... This is more... I don't know. I guess this is more a decoration tip you can do with your house. Yeah, that's a good one. See, all these walls have nothing on them. They're so bland and a little boring. I mean, if you like the wood texture, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> or it's best with the floor, though. I think. You can make... Take a little wool make a painting. Now this is gonna be dependent on what size of a wall. So we're gonna make a big nice painting. I'm gonna just grab it right there and smack it on the wall. You're placing, you wanna be very careful where you're placing. You can place it on the lower corner. Might get a little bit of that. You can place it over there. You can place it like that. You can do it much higher, which will make it look much better, because I don't like it to be slightly above the floor. You can see two, much bigger. See? Let's see here. Where's a good place I can put a painting? Yeah. No, I don't want that. I want to. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a real good one. If you kind of like the big painting on the floor, that's fine. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, come on. It looks awesome. I mean, that's a good one. Nice big one. This is something cool to look at. Oh, I think I want to build like a little... Separate this off from here because if, if you have a little kitchen right here and don't like uh I don't like the fact that my kitchen is showing here I'll kinda wanna separate it a little bit. You can do this. Oh so 
So we're gonna do some. Do a little doorway. I won't be able to put a door here unless you do this. I do not like that at all. The design, personally. So it comes down to personal preference. I can zoom right up to it. And look at it real closely. So since see. And since we have more wool, we can design this place and put it all different places. As you can see, I've also used this extra little space over here as a storage space. And I also have the roof done, and now I have an attic. If you have an attic, make sure it's light up very nicely. And now you can use this space as an extra place to put storage. And... Yeah, storage and whatever you want it to use it for. You can use it as an alchemy lab or a secret study. So you don't. Cause I'm not because I want to remove some of these. Because the reason why I want to go to the Nether is to remove some of these torches, and make a much better lighting source. Personally, I like the. It's more of a lighting source, which is a good. Personally. Hmm. We're gonna have to be. Now we have a little. Kind of looks kind of nice split. It kind of adds a little different, a little slightly different room. Yeah, it, it's looking good. As always, there's two uses you can use these flowers for: dyes or decoration, as you see. And since we're gonna have potted plants. I'm going to show you some decoration tips there. Yeah, there's a lot of things I can show you with new stuff that are going to be coming up. It'll be handy and it'll be helpful. And yes, it is coming out on a Thursday, not on Wednesday, apparently. Personally, as long as it runs well, it doesn't matter when it comes out, as long as it comes out reasonably. So, once again, if you have enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated. And if you want to keep up to date of different tips and tricks, subscribe so you can keep up to date. And hopefully, I can be a much better help. As always, I'm RJLundom89, signing off with peace and love.